hey what's going on guys let's try this problems right here the first question is asking consider the case of two different frames of reference one frame is stationary the other is moving at a speed of 0.65 c in the plus c direction if an event occurs at position x equal to 74.5 light years at time t is equal to 73.9 years in the moving frame what x position in light years would be recorded for the event in the stationary frame? Let's see how we can find it. So first of all, you have to know that since uh, the frame is stationary, the position where the event occur is same as the position in the stationary frame, right? So it does not affect the other frame. So the position of the event in the stationary frame is going to be this one, x is equal to 74.5 light years. So that's going to be our answer, 74.5 light years. And let's look at the next year, next question. This question is asking, a set of twins, Andrea and Courtney, are initially 10 years old. While Courtney remains on Earth, Andrea rides on a spaceship which travels away from Earth at a speed of 0.6 c for 5 years, as measured by Courtney then immediately turns around and comes back at 0.6 c. When, uh, when Andrea returns, Courtney is 20 years old. How old is Andrea upon her return in years? Now, here what we have to do is we have to use the ti uh, time dilation equation, Lorentz time dilation equation. In order to do this one, we have to know the delta t, that is time interval of Courtney. So time interval of Courtney that is delta t let's say delta t prime that's going to be 20 years so when she when Andrea returns Courtney is 20 year old so 20 years and initially we had 10 years old both of them were 10 years old so 10 years and the delta t prime is going to be 10 years right and also the speed is given right S spaceship speed is 0.6 c so we know that uh, v is equal to 0.6 c now let's go ahead and write our Lorentz time dilation equation that is delta t is equal to delta t prime square root of 1 minus v square over c square and delta t prime we found out that is 10 years square root of 1 minus and the speed of the spaceship is 0 0.6 c so this is going to be 0 0.6 c square over c square all of them within the square root and if you calculate this one you should get 10 years remaining right here 10 years and if you calculate this one, this is going to give you 0 0.8. 0 0.8 means this is 8 years. Right? So when Andrea comes to the return to the earth, C is going to be like uh, Andrea's age is going to be. Initially, she was 10 years when she goes uh, leave the earth. So that's going to be 10 years. And uh, after when she comes back, she is going to be 8 years older than that. So we are going to have plus 8 years and the total age is going to be 18 years old so when she come back to the earth she's going to be 18 years old and uh, that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching